Mindfulness of the Hand, Week Four. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to notice your hand, and I mean really notice it. In fact, I'm going to ask you to look at it for five minutes or so. But before we do that, I'd like you to silently observe what your mind is predicting about the exercise. Notice whether your mind is telling you that this will be interesting or fun, or notice if your mind is predicting that the exercise will be boring, tedious, or difficult. Sometimes our mind is great at predicting things, gets it absolutely right, but very often its predictions are a bit off the mark. So let's see what happens. I'd like to invite you to get into a comfortable position in your chair, and just turn one of your hand palms upwards, and hold it a comfortable distance from your face. For the next few minutes, I'd like you to observe your hand as though you're a curious scientist who had never seen a hand before, and from that perspective, first notice the outline. Mentally trace the outline of your hand, starting at the base of the thumb, and tracing all around the fingers. Notice the shapes of the spaces between your fingers. Notice where your hand tapers in at the wrist. And now observe the color of your skin. Notice, it's not just one color. There are different tones and shades. And dappled areas. Now, ever so slowly, stretch your fingers out and push them as far back as they will go, and notice how the colour changes in your skin. And then, slowly release the tension, and notice how the colour returns. Do that once more, ever so slowly, watching the colour disappear, and then return. Now notice the large lines on your palm. Notice the shapes they make, where they come together, or diverge, or intersect. Zoom in on one of those lines and notice how there are many smaller lines feeding into it and branching out of it. And now shift your attention to one of your fingertips. Notice the spiral pattern there. The pattern you always see on fingertips, and notice how the pattern doesn't stop at your fingertip; it carries on down your finger. Trace the line down your finger. Notice how it continues into your palm. Now, ever so slowly, bring your little finger towards your thumb. Notice the flesh in your palm scrunching up. And now slowly release, and notice the flesh resume its normal contours. Now turn your hand to the karate chop position, and notice the difference between the skin on the palm and the skin on the back. And look at your index finger, and notice there's a sort of dividing line where those two types of skin meet each other. Ever so slowly, turn your hand over and notice the skin on the back. Notice any criticisms or judgments that your mind makes. Notice any scars, sunspots, blemishes, and notice the different colours in the skin, where it passes over a vein, or over your knuckles. Ever so slowly, curl your hand into a gentle fist. Notice how the texture of your skin changes, and observe any comments your mind makes about that. Focus in on your knuckles, gently rotate your fist, and notice the contours and valleys of your knuckles. Now tighten your fist and notice what happens to your knuckles, to their colour, and prominence. Open up your hand again. And then, with palms down, stretch your fingers out, pushing them as far back as they will go. Notice how your knuckles just disappear. Now, bring your attention to one of your fingernails. Notice the texture of the nail, 
and the different shades of colour. Notice where your nail disappears under the skin and the cuticle that seals it in there. And now, ever so slowly, wiggle your fingers up and down. And notice the tendons moving under the skin, pumping up and down like pistons and rods. And that brings us to a little over five minutes.